Hi, it's Olivia. Many of you know that I'm a second grade school teacher. I love my kids and I miss them very much. Maybe even as much as your staff loves and misses you. They are working hard to create these videos to keep in communication with you while we are worshiping apart. Just remember, God is still on His throne and soon we'll be back together again. This coming Sunday is Easter and Eastwood has something very special planned. Be watching for the e-blast giving you all the details. In today's video, we will hear Bobby Joe sing a song called Anyway, made popular by Martina McBride, and Pastor Ed will bring an important message as well. But we begin with the praise team leading a popular song, Raise a Hallelujah. It reminds us we can lift our song of praise high, even in the presence of the enemy. So appropriate for such a time like this. And one last word of thanks for your faithful tithing to God's work at Eastwood during these days. God bless you. When we say the word hallelujah, basically that means praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord today for all good things come from Him. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my You can spend your whole life building something for nothing. One storm can come and blow it all away. Build it anyway.
You can chase a dream that seems so out of reach And you know it might not ever come your way Dream it anyway God is great, but sometimes not This world's gone crazy And it's hard to believe That tomorrow will be better than today Believe it anyway If you can love someone with all your heart For all the right reasons And in a moment they can choose to walk away Love them anyway God is great But sometimes life ain't good And when I pray It doesn't always turn out like I think it should But I do You can pour your soul out to see A song you believe in That tomorrow they'll forget you ever sing Sing it anyway Yeah, sing it Hello, Eastwood. It's good to be with you again. It has been a joy to do these devotions with you. We have enjoyed it so much. And even though this is an unusual time, I feel like on the other side of this, we will all be better for what we have gone through. Today, I want to share with you one of my favorite verses. It is Hebrews 10, 24, and 25. And it says this, And let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembling together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Now, if you could picture that in your verse, in your mind, what I picture is a bucket. And we all have buckets. And either you're taking from your bucket or you're putting it in somebody else's bucket. And we need to remember that we need to fill other people's bucket. Remember the verse I just quoted was about encouraging and stimulating one another to love and good deeds. I read this week that if you encourage two people a day for 10 days who encouraged, who encouraged 10 other people for those 10 days, at the end of 10 days, you would have encouraged over 1,000 people. 
We need to be people who encourage other people. I know in my life, I can think of two people that really were great encouragers to me. One of those, was his name was Fred Tremalgia. He was my baseball coach at Western. Now, I had a good career at Western. I, I felt like everything went well while I was there. But I can tell you, apart from Fred, I would have been a disaster. When I used to go to the bullpen to warm up, Fred would stand behind me, Coach Tremalgia. He would stand behind me and would say, nobody can touch that pitch. There is nobody that can hit that. There, you are a winner. And I believed him. And that encouragement meant the world to me. On the spiritual side of that, there's another guy that was huge in my life. His name was Pete Walters. Pete used to come by and leave verses in our mailbox. Or he would leave you a note. Or he would stop and have lunch with you and, and say positive things about you. And those words really built you up. And so we need to take our words and put them in other people's buckets so that they feel encouraged and feel good and they feel like they can accomplish new things. The other thing we can do is give out praise. When we give out praise out of our bucket, we give praise to the Lord. And this bucket never runs dry. Jesus has all kinds of things that we can say about him. And we can give that praise out to other people. The last thing we can do is give testimony. Give testimony about what the Lord is doing in your life and what He is accomplishing and what He has accomplished. All of us who are saved have a testimony. We can tell other people about what God has done in our life, and that is so important. It's not only important to tell what He's already done, but it's important to tell what He is doing. A word from your bucket to put in somebody else's bucket is a great tool to encourage them to grow closer to the Lord. Just remember, we can run out of money, we can run out of resources, but when we talk about encouragement, praise, and testimony, our bucket never runs dry. And we want to give to other people so that they might enjoy, grow, and love the Lord like we do.